So many things are, uh, were arranged here, maybe marriage, maybe uh, between two people, or maybe uh, something else. <laughs> but uh, it's become a popular. Uh, and now we will, I will show you something. That place over there is in a hotel. But now, not anymore because of, uh, uh, there is a problem uh, happened there uh, lately. And, uh, and that's why they closed down and the owners are uh, going back home. But this, this one is a good hotel. Uh, I used to go there and eat. And as you see, the slope down this uh, uh, Ngarakabesang and Mune's and Ngarakabesang Bay. I don't know what's the real, uh, real uh, name for this. But it's a good sight, huh? you know, when we are sit, uh, sitting here or stay, uh, standing here and uh, look out there, especially at night, you see so many uh, light from the main town of Koror. And uh, this is uh, a part of Menunz, they call it Menunz. And up here, we go a little bit more. Uh, <clears throat> let me show you. Uh, there, there's an old restaurant there. It was uh, one of the hideout for for those marriage people when they they get uh, their uh, loved one and they escape here and they think nobody uh, their wife <laughs> because it's kind of remote. Huh? Okay, that's uh, they go, uh, but not anymore. Uh, I don't know what's the real problem. What's the issue for this? Never mind, we will not uh, talk about that. And then uh, here, this is the road to the village. Call it Eang village. And when I look down here, uh, this place is good for, we build the hotel, but if I have money, I buy, I buy this land. <coughs> and, uh, and develop it. So you put the hotel down here and all the way down there. Really close, one down to close to the water. Japanese already developed there, so Japanese were staying there be before the war. And the company are making uh, uh, Katsuo Bushio and the other things. Yeah. So here, you see, all this road, uh, night time, you will, when you come here, it's full of cars from all kinds. It will be, will then line up this side of the road, one side or both sides, all the way there. And some are escaped to this uh, forest, forest or jungle. And uh, they do get their things. That's what uh, make it so attractive. You see, this is what I told you. I hope somebody give you money. No Palawan don't have uh, that kind of money to buy land. And no foreigners, according to our constitution, no foreigners can buy land in Palau. They can rent. But you know rent uh, is good, but if the owner <laughs> kick you out, you, you lose your money. But if you, if you buy it, I think it's uh, the only wa wa way out. Uh, you be a partner, good friend in Palau give him the money and uh, he, he bought this land, you make contract between you. Uh, he didn't contract. <laughs> uh, that's how you see. Look, look. 
they, uh, they always maintain this road. This guy here, Jesse, Jesse Sumor, uh, used to maintain this road. Now he cut the grass. And you know, yeah, this kind of grass, as the one they, uh, they make hay out of it. Japanese are bring, uh, brought this uh, uh, type of grass to, to feed their horse. Because between Japanese time administration, they have a horse, not many cars. And it's fish. Uh, I, I wish I would show you everything. Uh, maybe I will uh, make one video. Okay. This guy is uh, starting to crack. Yeah. Hey! Tomato, 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 we will see you tomorrow too. Hey! 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 Of a year, Sumba and Grad of my visit to Habite. I'm talking to Kasaku some video that our YouTube. Hey, money, they were YouTubers. Every now and then, YouTubers are the Pergeri somewhere. If you remember Pippi Yamu's post. Okay, that's the end, of, not the end of the road. You still continue this road all the way down to the church. And uh, you see, the, look at this banana. Ah, good banana. And it's grow by itself, huh? Nobody planted this. And uh, this is pumpkin. It's grow by itself, grow wild. And this one, uh, uh, they call it in Palau Murk. We call, we call it in our language. Uh, uh, what was that? Oh. In, <laughs> sorry, in uh, Tobian language, so or Southwest Island language, we call it Murg. But in Palau, uh, they call it Bisa. It's very itchy when you eat. You have to, some people, uh, and this is good food. They're very high fibers. But some people knows how to fix it. You have to take off the skin, the calfuri. And then they cook it. No, it's no longer uh, uh, no longer itchy. Or megegad in Palau. Megegad in Palawan language they go itchy, itchiness. Okay, let's uh, go back there. I show you. Oh, I never talk about those two buildings over there beside the the small hill. Uh, that's belong to Marcelo Periantosi, he's an Italian. Uh, I cannot pronounce well his name, sorry. Uh, Mary Palawan, and they built that one. I think uh, they sell it out that one. There is a, a restaurant underneath. Very nice, we go there, in nice view, nice food. So you, you, if you are intended to come to Palau, visit these places. I will show you some uh, hotel later. Later, okay? And not in this video. And uh, it's good to know, so when you come to Palau, and fish it. The Palau is the most beautiful uh, uh, environment. We we still preserve it. Look at those mango trees. Plenty of crocodile underneath. But not plenty as they say in Africa. We have, but not many as uh, in Africa. Uh, so, this is the place 
at night we have to go up there and drink beer or talk to our girlfriend uh, we can put the band there over up here and they, we play and people in the road are dancing ah! uh, these people are collecting some bamboo maybe they will have to go and fix uh, fix the bench there is a bench there but it's broke somebody tear it out this one is a lemon is a lemon mangoes so this people these guys are planting uh, not flowers only flowers but they plant some of the useful uh, plant like uh, these are flowers I don't know what kind of flowers they uh, don't know the name in English and this is my car so now you you know something about about the, uh, the story of this small area uh, this one also a lemon but you almost die very old yeah and that's coconut a coconut tree is a crow bearer in Palau because of its climate uh, this also I think are kind of flowers maybe the same same plant as the one we we saw it there okay uh, go back out there and uh, look at the immunes from that building all the way is immunes and then that's the crossway uh, to connect it to the main main uh, town in Koror. Actually, all of these are uh, Koror, but uh, there, uh, in earliest time, that's where they call it Koror. And this one is Munes. And behind this mountain, that's Sangar Kabesang, all the way down here, it's Sangar Kabesang. But mostly the people from the southwest, they live in this uh, town, small town down the hill. You can you see a part of it in the other video. <laughs> and uh, more, all the people living down here are from uh, Hatobe State and San Solo State. Yeah. Okay. Uh, look at that. Let's uh, take a look at the. Is a few natural few. Huh? This is Palau. Palau is the best in uh, in the Micronesia. And you come and visit us and uh, enjoy the diving. The only good part of the, this place is diving. You dive. You see so many fish, so many type of color. You. <laughs> When you come up, you see so many beautiful Chinese <laughs> or uh, Japanese. Uh, mostly Japanese and Chinese are visiting this place. Also American, but we have uh, more Chinese and Japanese because we are very close to them. And look at those trees. That's a mango. Very soon, you will, when you see the color of the leaves changing, you know the it's going to be flower and soon will be uh, will be uh, uh, put out its fruit. Oh, maybe there is a uh, they try to burn uh, high uh, uh, bees hive under those uh, flowers go back to the my radio station and sign off